everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm taking stock of all the lumber that I have in preparation for getting ready to build the woodshed uh, down over here. I've been clearing the area a little bit, uh, you know, taking uh, the pile of wood that's there, kind of chopping it up, taking the dirt stuff, throwing it over onto the well line, because I'm still trying to kind of fill over the well line over there. Uh, and I got to come up with a design for the uh, for the woodshed itself. There's no one perfect, correct way to do it. There's you know all sorts of approaches that I could take, and I want my pr approach to be based on the materials that I have available. I just came out here, and I've got some two by sixes here. There's nine of them. These are kind of odd lengths, they're like 11 foot. Usually things are like in two foot increments. You know, they might like be 10 feet long or 12 feet long. These are 11, so I I, I guess these were some old scrap. But I got nine of those inside. I've got a bunch of two by tens. There's 12 foot ones and 16 foot ones. I've got got 10 uh, 12 foot long ones I've got four 16 foot long ones now a woodshed doesn't need two by tens in it these are uh, two by tens are like what you use for like floor rafters and, and ceiling rafters and stuff like that um, is it floor joists I think that's the term I don't know. <laughs> build a whole house I still don't know what to call anything um, uh, so, you know, I don't really need that, but at the time of this recording, lumber prices are really high. Uh, I've got this extra stuff, you know, so if I take those 2x10s and cut them in half and I get 2x5s, I can kind of use that to build the thing. It's a little bit of a shame to take a, a big board and cut it down to something small, and if I had some other project where I knew I was going to need 2x10s, I wouldn't do that, but, you know, I'm getting to the end of the projects that I have here, you know. I get years of life, I'm sure I'm going to come up with projects in the future where I'll be like, ah, oh, if only I had those two by tens. But uh, at the moment, I would love to use them up, get use of the space that I have in the greenhouse, because they're taking up space in the greenhouse, staying dry in there. I'd love to use the greenhouse as a greenhouse. Uh, and I need, I need, I keep almost saying firewood. I need dimensional lumber so that I can make my woodshed, so that I can stack my firewood. So I'm working on those two things at the same time. I also wanted to take stock of this stuff. This is the bars, the metal bars that are uh, being used for putting up the uh, solar panels. I found somebody, in fact, the, per the people that installed the solar hot water panels on the shed, they were one of the contractors I felt did a really great job. Uh, and uh, they said for about $2,000, uh, I could hire them to put up just the bars on uh, the roof to support the solar electric panels. I'd have to put up the electric panels myself, but for a couple thousand dollars to know that they're going to be really well done, because they did a great job putting the bars up there, uh, to know they'd be really well done, and then when I get up there, I honestly got, I hate heights. I'm afraid of heights. And there's always a risk when you go up there. So, you know, if I can eliminate that risk for a couple thousand dollars, eliminate the time that it would take me to do it, they're going to do it a lot faster than I would do it. Uh, and I can focus my time and effort on something else. Two thousand bucks, I think, is a fair price for that. And, uh, you know, Gosh, if I ever if I fell off the roof, I'd really wish that I'd spent that two thousand dollars and hired them to do it. Now you guys know on my channel all the time. I'm 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 not a big fan of like like hire the experts to do it. It's like don't don't ever trust yourself. But you know sometimes you know for me I'm terrified of heights. There's always a danger factor there, and that's a pretty fair a fair price. So I'm thinking about hiring them. So I was going to get them the information on how long these were and uh, how many I had and everything. Um, so yeah, today I'm just cataloging stuff and then still moving the that big pile of firewood out of the way of the woodshed uh, so that I can start building the woodshed. Just while we're here, I'll just uh, point your attention out to a couple of trees. These are the second year for these trees here. It's a couple of Honeycrisp apple trees, four of them. Uh, on the other side over there, there's some Granny Smiths and some Fuji apples. Just this year, uh, I put in uh, two new trees. There's one here and one you probably can't see. It. It's over by those pallets over there. These are kind of like Cortland, kind of a baking apple. I think every year I'm going to add a couple of trees to expand the orchard slowly over time, uh, you know, as I kind of like make more room for them. These two trees right here, incidentally, are um, plum trees. These are two plum trees. So slowly growing over time, you know, making things nicer and nicer. But, uh, but today I just got to, I got to make sure I know what I'm going to do for building that shed. I got to find out what materials I got, come up with a cool plan. And if I need to buy some stuff, order it, and then uh, you'll be ready to start going on that because I don't want to let this summer slip by. That's it. Thanks for watching.